Welcome to this video playing Adaro Gambia. No, I'm not believing that. <laughs> okay, they don't have any GMs. Okay, but this is going to be a Nimzo, I guess. 2500, this is a pretty high rating. Yeah, E4 is the critical move, but this is a tricky move. Yeah, with C5, as far as I know. But D, D5, Queen E7 is the problem. What if I play? What if I play something like that? Let's just freestyle Check. this and hope <laughs> I'm not falling on my face too badly. Bishop b7, bishop d3. I think they have ideas with b5 in this position. Ah, yeah, I see. And f3, you're kind of telling me that the queen is bad on c2. Hmm. That's certainly true. d5. Well, it looks sad. It looks tricky. Very tricky. Okay, maybe d5. Queen e7. And then, yeah, 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 I have to block it. Block the e-file, maybe with this. E, D, E, D, queen e4. Interesting, very interesting. Oh, it's not doing that, okay. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to develop. If black is just uh, playing passive moves, now I'm definitely okay. Now he's going queen e4. I thought it was stronger before. Now I can actually move the queen away if I'm not totally wrong here. Maybe here, I don't know where. I mean, I actually can castle next move. And if he would have done that without, without playing um, another move first, hmm. strange, really strange stuff. Okay, um, I'd like to get in bishop d3 here, definitely. Rook d1, bishop d3. Or... <laughs> yeah, all this, and bishop e3. First, then rook d1, bishop d3. Aha. Hmm. Okay. So rook b5, bishop a6, and then, then he wants to take on c4, yes? Oh, wow. <clears throat> I really don't believe this one bit, but maybe maybe I'm wrong. So I'm taking this and then what exactly? Bishop a6, knight d5. I also have bishop f4. I mean, bishop f4 is probably also not bad. Uh, I don't know. I'm falling really too far behind uh, on the clock. I have I have some unprotected pieces, so it's not clear if he has some 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 weird tactic maybe to justify his stuff. So attacking on c3. Maybe queen f6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, all, it's always a bit tricky. Even if this um, is not working objectively, it's always some activity going on. And I really only have this, this double pawn. That is my extra pawn. It's nothing. Nothing too scary for black. Um, 
Um, I wasn't sure if this is actually working due to knight e4. Knight e4. Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, he's got rookie one. Yeah, this this kind of this kind of <laughs> funny idea. It's unbelievable sometimes what kind of stuff is happening. What about bishop f one though? Isn't this winning something? Yes, bishop f one. Yeah, threatening threatening mate on g two. Yeah, he didn't he didn't see that. Check. Uh, oh, it's winning. Ah, it's winning in exchange. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't. This was also good. Okay. Um, White resigns. Yeah, it was. It was just, just, just a weird position. Just a weird position. I mean, okay, this is probably not working at all. Yeah, it's not working. Of course. Yeah, I can just take and win. This is winning, and he just is just down material for nothing. Okay, and this is not working due to this miracle rookie for yeah? and and this great. Sometimes you're just unlucky. I mean, or unlucky. It's of course a skill problem. If I'm better, I'm not allowing this stuff. But I mean, this is just frankly he does this in two seconds and blunders away the whole game. And it's pretty clear that all this what he's doing is, is a sort of shaky stuff. Yeah. If he's, he's not having any tactic, he's just a pawn down. And I mean, this is simply not working. Yeah, I can just do this and he resigns the game. He can also not do this due to the same thing. And then I'm going knight e4 immediately. And then this is just a, just a miracle save. Yeah, yeah this is check. check. This is the problem. And here again, it's a, it's a, I mean, he could have done that as well. Then I have this one though. Okay, yeah. So he can do exactly that, that, Check. look f1, and this gives him the extra piece. So yeah, okay, that was, that was stupid. And this b5 stuff, I mean, I really, I really don't know if this is possible. Here black is, um, black is probably okay here. I'd be five. Interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. It costs me quite um, quite a lot of time. It's got this counterplay against the pawns. And as mentioned, it's just a double pawn. So it's not like I just have a pawn and I win easily. But um, yeah, okay. It's got a weak pawn on d6 and so on. I, I should never be worse. And here, yeah, he has to play something else. I mean, just, just blunders it away. Something I don't know, book e7 or whatever move when I can try to convert the pawn. The problem is that it's not the pawn, the problem is that d6 is weak, and the, this, these pieces are where well, they are attacking this pawn, but other than that, they're just not very well placed. So here he has to um, be, be, yeah, it's a tough defense for him. And uh, well, this, this should have lost, but uh, it won because I, I did a really stupid. I played knight e4. I took some time for it, right? 11 seconds, yeah. But I I was just not seeing that uh, it's always a check that here's rook e1 and rook f1, yeah? this, this kind of thing. Okay, thanks for watching.